Welcome back, everybody. April 15th, 2021, and we're going to get right into it today. It is 1014 a.m., and let me be the first to wish you all a happy National Laundry Day. That's right. Not only is it normally our tax day here in the U.S., but it is also National Laundry Day, so I hope all of you enjoy that very much. We've got a few important topics to cover today, including the 2021 Atlantic hurricane season. The Weather Channel has put out their official forecast, and I gotta say, these numbers are a bit scary. Take a look at the total named storms, 18 eight hurricanes and three category three or higher major hurricanes. The reason that we are seeing numbers like this, one is because the conditions, the atmospheric conditions are very similar to last year. And last year, 2020, was the busiest season we've ever had with 31 total depressions, 30 total storms, and 13 hurricanes, six of which were category three or higher. So in my opinion, the reason we're seeing this is definitely a comparison to last year. The reason the numbers aren't higher is because they don't want to put all this fear into people. They want to be realistic with it, but the chances of us topping these numbers is very high. Something very, very important to understand is these forecasts do not predict landfalls. Landfalls are almost impossible to forecast. We can forecast storms, the formation of storms, and those predictions, but we don't know where they're going to go. Last year, we all know Louisiana was the target zone for hurricanes. I believe it was five, maybe six storms hit the Louisiana coast, and it doesn't matter how much preparation you do for storms. No one can prepare for something like that. It's nearly impossible to not notice the fact that weather is changing all over the world. Things are getting more severe. And at this point, the more people that know, the more people that have a basic knowledge of weather, the more people that we have to get the word out and keep people safe. That is the most important thing is being able to prepare for these storms with a lot of confidence for you and your families. For anybody interested in watching or reading about the Weather Channel's Atlantic Hurricane Season predictions, I will leave this link in the description box. And if you don't mind, can I have one second? of your time. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed. And now that we've gotten that out of the way, I really appreciate you guys letting me take the time to do that. Take a look at our temperatures. That cold blast is definitely making its presence known. As we know, these late season systems love to come in and just ruin our parades. We got a winter type storm by the Rockies, kind of that western central part of the country that always gets hit right as we're switching into the warm seasons. And this is actually stretched up to the northeast. It's very cold here in the northeast today. Today and tomorrow are going to be rough, but the most rough once again is our southeast Gulf Coast states. Louisiana once again getting severe weather this morning, which our SLGT chart is showing originating from Texas and then kind of moving into that Louisiana, western Louisiana, just like we always see this flow while we have that low system up to the northeast pulling this all up. The talk of the southeast, including Texas, has been the hail situations. We have a 15% chance of hail in a lot of central Texas. This will make its way east into Louisiana. Once again, bringing us this deja vu like scene. It seems like every morning we are looking at this exact same system moving along the Gulf Coast and then flaring off into the panhandle of Florida. The unfortunate part about all this is because of the cold air that is continuing to dip down into the United States, we're going to continue to see the mix of cool and warm air from the Gulf, which in turn will continue this stormy, severe thunderstorm and lightning and hail situation in the Northeast until further notice. I want to thank each and every one of you once again for watching this channel and taking your time to watch these videos. It means the world to me. I love putting this content out to you. Don't forget that notification bell. Shout out to Canada and we'll be back here to report anything significant that you need to know about. Tell me this radar chart isn't one of the coolest things you've ever seen. All right, my friends, happy National Laundry Day. Happy Tax Day. Be safe out there. Take care. Bye-bye.